hey guys thank you so much for joining us and welcome back to this channel <laughs> so today is saturday and i was just doing my my weekend skincare routine and i thought hmm why not share this saturday's routine with you so what is happening right here is that i have on my black mask and it kind of feels like my face has been tightened from all ends <laughs> i cannot smile i always love masking because of how it makes my skin feel so what i've done before the mask is um i got this soap that i use it's called comfort so far i think it's it's doing something good to my skin so i use this soap instead of uh like this is my cleanser this is what i use i hope you can read that yeah the focus is very good it contains african comfort basil extra okay this is our very own kenyan made so and this one i bought it for uh 450 kenya shillings so i washed my face with this and then i came in with my black mask there you have it okay this is my black peel off mask alcohol free charcoal detoxifying yeah so i let this sit for around 20 to 25 minutes always it usually it takes longer than that to dry especially around the nose area but yeah that's that's the the mask that i use the masking what i'm gonna be doing is so i will peel off the mask and then i will go in with my moisturizer i use neutrogena visibly clear oil free moisturizer okay that's what i use sometimes with the moisturizer i use a little bit of glycerin just because i love glycerin and it leaves a smooth feel to the face and then after the moisturizer i'll go in with my nivea sunscreen yeah we wear sunscreen even in the house you don't have to be leaving the house to use sunscreen hey baby hi guys <laughs> hi guys okay hi guys look at my awesome. you're not even looking at the guys look at the guys say hi guys Hi guys. Mm -mm. Look at the look at the guys here. Hi guys. Oh no, I'm going to Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi Melanie. <laughs> I don't know what you got to. No, what? No, good job. So yeah, we use the sunscreen. Actually, I use SPF 50. It is high. Uh, it's mat. It has mattifying effect. It's Nivea is the best for me. Remember for me. So sometimes when I'm not doing all the masking and everything, I just use my cellular water, nitrogen for skin detox. And <laughs> we're almost out. So we might be going to shop in Dubai very soon. Amen. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes when I've had a lazy, lazy, lazy day, I'll just go in with our darling. You know, this is a saver. This is a miracle worker. Yeah. After removing the mask, I'll go in with the toner. And then I'll go in with, uh, I'm using the pore mask toner. I have all kinds. I mean, go for what works for you. I use um, pore mask skin success complexion toner. Okay. So it's very expensive being a woman. Maybe in my next life, I'll choose to be a guy just to see how it feels like to not care about all this stuff. <laughs> May I stop it? May I stop it? Mel, stop it. So let's peel off this mask and see how our face looks like. Oh, okay. So let's peel off this mask. Mm. I think this is my favorite, favorite part. Mm. Oh, this looks good. Mel, stop it. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, oh, I love peel off mask. I don't know. It's, it's probably just me. Mmm. Feels so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Who else loves peel off masks? I feel like they work better than the, than the rinse off masks. But again, that's my opinion. Mmm. My people. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Y'all should see Mel's reaction to me peeling off the mask. Mm. Oh. oh my god. Wow. Look at my face, you people. Not a cover mask. Oh, that feels amazing. Look at how much they peeled off. Oh gosh. Now let's go and tone this face, moisturize, and then use sunscreen. Come with me. 
So we're gonna go in with the toner. I use normal cotton wool because I feel like they last longer than, than the others. So. <laughs> this toner smells heavenly. And I have a skin type that is prone to acne, so I'm always very careful what I do with my skin. For instance, I can't use just any scrub. It has to be very mild, and I don't scrub my face as of, uh, very often. So I have to be very careful with my skin. Anytime I can get a breakout. If you can see the spots, the spots on my face, like on this side and on this side, this was from the last breakout that I had in 2020. Thank God I haven't had any other breakouts since then. Um, I thought I was going to have a breakout when I was pregnant or after my baby was born, but no. My skin looked flawless back then. So, just tone. I just tone this sensitive skin. I even have, like, you know, see, my skin is misbehaving already. But we're going to deal with that anyway. Nobody says that we were meant to have a baby face throughout our lives. Just the same way life is full of ups and downs, so are our faces wrinkles are coming in you know eye bugs <laughs> everything is coming in and we just take it gracefully do whatever you can and don't worry about the rest it meant to grow old at some point in life i mean why is it that we don't want to grow old but we don't want to die also you know i want to grow old very old so 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 old that's my prayer so that is done i wonder how we say that we have cleaned our faces yet when you go in with something like that <laughs> something is always coming out something is always coming out so after that is done then we're gonna go in with now we're gonna go in i feel like my hands are a little bit unclean that's what you get for having a sensitive uh, facial skin you're always worried about you know you're always worried about touching your face with other stuff so we're gonna go in with the moisturizer i use just a little i don't use much so it comes out like that with the moisturizer it melts into the skin almost immediately it's oil free but it doesn't make your face look as dry as you would think uh, other moisturizers like cream for or uh, non-oil based creams would make you look like so you. that's how it makes my face look like face needs a good moisturizing after face care I think my face does, and I'm not a professional, but this is what I do for my face. It's probably why my face is not perfect, but I try. I try as much as I can. On a daily, I just use the cleanser and the toner and the moisturizer. That's it. And uh, during the day, I use the sunscreen. But on the weekends, I like to go a little bit extra. I read somewhere that it's very important what you're doing to your face. It's very important to also do it to your neck <laughs> because, like, most of the time, your neck can be seen. And that's a moisturized face and then now we're going to use sunscreen sunscreen go in with the sunscreen okay here's another thing i learned that sunscreen should be applied after everything else after moisturizing after serums after everything else you apply the sunscreen so that it can help in blocking i was looking at some some facial beauty content and you know like how you can improve your appearance you know when you're getting older as opposed to using anti-aging products and i saw uh, one chinese vlogger who was um saying something about massaging your face and like the way you should massage your face like like that these apparently she said that these will improve appearance of wrinkles you know like how we have wrinkles appearing here and here and here like when you smile you know there's always going to be a wrinkle here so she said that 
uh, this is how you massage your face, like in this motion, outward motion, and then the other cheek. And then the one that I found to be rather amusing was when she said that you can exercise also your face by, you know, facial expressions like. <laughs> yeah, and I did that for a couple of months and then I was like, I'm going to be getting old anyway. Who cares how my wrinkles appear or whatever. So that is the final look of my skincare self-love routine on a weekend stick around as i do the last bit of this video so guys that's just about all that i do for my skincare on weekends mark my words that doesn't happen every day or every weekend some weekends that's what happens and i feel like my skin feels so good like it's breathing i don't have perfect skin like most people would but i do love my skin and i do try to take care of it whenever i can anyway other than the skin the reason why i'm doing this bit today is because i had promised you on the previous video that i was going to update you on what happens when i go for my scan so it finally happened yesterday i went for my scan at the nairobi women's hospital so i'm about to do a second doppler scan and then after this i will go to check my kidney and then after this I will go for the CT scan, so keep me in your, in your prayers, guys. So, but I'm not worried. Not worried at all. So this is where we do the door plus scan. As for the CT scan, I don't think they'll allow me to film. I'm actually filming because the doctor is not here yet. I'm in the Nairobi Women Hospital. So I'm waiting for the doctor to come so we can do the Doppler scan just to confirm that nothing is visible so that he can send me to a CT scan. So when I got there, I did, a friend of mine did introduce me to a very good friend of hers, a doctor there at the Nairobi Women's Hospital. And I did get to meet him and talk to him about my situation and everything. And so he asked me why I might be thinking that I have a blood clot or DVT. Um, and then he told me that if that was the case, there's no way a Doppler scan can miss the DVT. But if the DVT was not visible and I'm still feeling something, then that's a good reason enough to go for a CT scan. So we discussed everything and everything, and then we did the CT scan. I have the results somewhere. So, and the results came out. So this is when I got the request to go for the CT scan. This is from Bristol Park Hospital. And this was my referral. What should I be holding? I shouldn't be holding anything. Uh, this was my referral. If you can see down here, the doctor referred me to do a CT angio lower limb so that's a ct scan and this is the result from the first doppler scan that i did i'm sure you cannot read but yeah the findings were like that those are the findings here and this is the scan itself it looks just like you know a normal ultrasound and then these yes baby mommy. yes mama okay. Anyway, so these are the results from the scan from Nairobi Women's Hospital. You can see that. Okay. Uh, yeah, everything is there clearly. These are the results. That's me right there, and that's how old we are. 40s, here we come. Anyway, so here it is. The good news is that. Yes, we went through the whole scan and the doctor checked everything and the doctor was very helpful. Uh, the best thing about being recommended by someone else is that that doctor takes care of you as if they are taking care of their friend. It even some extra testing and you know before the, before the CT scan, they also have to do a kidney scan. So all that was done and the results came out and your girl has a clean bill of health. Like there is nothing wrong with me. He told me what you need to be treating is your anxiety uh it's not that bad though i think i have done the most part about fighting with that situation but the doctor opened my eyes that while you may be over that the whole situation that you have gone through with your mental health sometimes something can happen and trigger you right back into that kind of state so yes i got to sit with a therapist and a doctor at the same time and guys i am so happy i am so relieved that's why i can't even do my self-love again <laughs> so that was just an update because i promised 
um i don't like to make promises that i can't keep i like i like doing things the way i see them anyways thank you so much for sticking around thank you so much for always watching please remember to like share and leave a comment let me know if there's any kind of a video that you would like to see me do take care of thyself love yourself so that others can be able to love you and so that you may be able to give love unto others always take care peace thank you for watching <laughs>